Good morning. Just jumped out of the shower, and I'm heading to some modeling casting today that um, I think is for yoga wear. I don't even know that for sure. But first, I have to meet up with Tammy early in the morning to um, get my makeup back from her because I left it in her car for like. Okay, so I just met Tammy at Starbucks, and now we are driving to um, this modeling casting, which is as close ah, to as impossible as can be because I have a stick shift and a venti coffee. Um, and now I have a slip phone in my hands, so I'm making things really difficult. Stop signs. I like them. Gives me a chance to actually drink some of my coffee and not spill it all over my car. Okay, so stop in LA traffic. Figures. But at least I have Tammy right here. I'm convinced that most of the people who live in LA's lives are wasted sitting in traffic. We have been driving to this casting that's maybe 10 miles away. Still driving. This is traffic for us. Yeah. Welcome to my world. Is this casting even worth this? I cannot tell you how long I've been sitting in this car, driving, have hardly made any progress. I don't even know what part town I'm in right now, actually, though. Um, but is this really worth it? Okay, so a day where I'm crazy running around town, the only thing you can ask for is the street thing. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it. It says hope, but I don't think you can see it. So what does that mean? Does that mean like there is hope, but it's not visible? Okay, so Tammy and I are trying to find this um, modeling casting, and we have no idea where we're walking to. We're just walking. No, because look at what everything looks like then. Please show up and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we're in like an abandoned warehouse. We're gonna die. I'm pretty convinced. But what? Hey, 11:48. Yeah. How do we? There's a random dog in this casting. <laughs> Not sure who he is. Strange dog <laughs> mauling my friend Tammy. Made a best friend. Hey, where you come from? Where you come from? It smells like cheese. Who are you? Who brought you here? Kind of like that cheese popcorn, actually. It's like a weird... We brought cheese. Who brought you here? And now, on with the rest of my day. I get to fight traffic to go home. Uh, I'm going to try to actually get a hike in today because it's gorgeous outside. Okay, so I'm back on the street of hope. So now you can actually see what I mean. Here, it's the street where dreams come true. Actually, I don't know. I'm sure that there's a... Oh, that's as far as it zooms in. <laughs> Never mind, so uh, it said hope. I don't know, I guess you couldn't see it. Um, yes, hope. It's important for life. We all need hope and love. We need love. Well, and food, I guess, and oxygen and a bunch of other things, but whatever. Okay, so here I am, not a soul in sight, as you can see, except my little man who's hot and tired and me. And this is why I love coming out here as often as I can. It's just... Maybe a 10 minute walk to get here, three blocks down from my front door, and you get to be with nature. And who knew, with all that traffic, you could be in a place that's so quiet, so alone. I love it. Okay, I think that the walk to heaven is obviously this way. I mean, have you seen anything more beautiful? I'm surrounded by these amazing daisies. And you're doing a good job. Yeah, gotcha. How are you? Your yeah, favorite spot number one. On this little peak, not only is it covered with wildflowers, but you can see all the way from one side of the valley, which is gorgeous and stunning, all the way oh, to some bushes. <laughs> but there's a whole nice side to the valley right over here. So I'm literally standing kind of just on a little peak. But it's beautiful. What do you think, Dolce? You like it? <laughs> so this is the side of LA that a lot of people don't know about. And I didn't even uh, know about it either until just a couple years ago. And this is what keeps you hooked. Okay, I finished my apple and I'm moving on. But I have a question. If you throw an apple core into like this, the wilderness, is that considered littering? Because in my mind, I'm thinking a deer or a coyote, a rabbit, something will come along and eat it. So 
I don't feel like it's littering. But then I always feel bad for throwing it out. I'm afraid somebody's going to be like, what are you doing? So um, don't stay still behind me. Continuing so on. I stopped briefly to try to find a four-leaf clover. And instead I found two ladybugs mating. What does that mean? <laughs> Is that considered good luck? Found a tree with a hand. Hello, tree. Nice to meet you. And a roly-poly. Did you guys ever, as kids, used to make them roll into a ball like that and then play bowling with them? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and that's why I love L.A. So now home and going to bathe Dolce up and then go off my day. Oops, I took a wrong turn. And now I have no idea where I am. It feels like I'm in Nam. I literally feel like I'm blazing my own trails. This may actually turn into the Blair Witch Project. Well, I went through some trees and then came across this meadow, which has no trails. <laughs> but I'm heading in the right direction of my place, so <laughs> as soon as I start hearing cars or some kind of traffic, I'll be fine. Does he know where we are? Okay, I'm back on the trail. But for a little bit, I was hearing some really scary sounds uh, that sounded like a person crawling through the bushes, and you could hear like the twigs snapping and things which totally had me panicked for a while. Um, and I thought if anything happened, I would just throw this camera and then somebody could find it later on and be like, ah, we saw her adventures. Um, but upon further investigation, it was just a couple of birds mating. So I guess mating is just in the air today um, with the uh, ladybugs and then the birds. What's my problem? <laughs> guess I'm not on the bandwagon. I didn't get the memo. Okay, I've got the water going. I don't know how um, dogs feel about bounds normally, but Dolce hates them. And right now, he knows something's up. Dolce, you ready? Here we go. He hates this part. Are you ready for your bath? Can I put you in the bathtub? Come here. This is a little man, all clean. And he kind of looks like those hairless um, cats now. We have to wring him out, each foot and each paw, wring you out. How you feel? Huh? Don't you? Are you mad at me? Okay, just about the coolest thing about this dog is that he's a self-drying dog. And by that, I mean this. Don't you? Come here. Want to dry yourself? Dry yourself off. Dry yourself off. Stay on the towel. Come here. Dry yourself off. And he just keeps going in circles until he gets dry. So there is no work required by me. No blow dryers needed. No nothing. I literally just put the towel down and let him do his thing. And then a little bit, though, he goes absolutely crazy and wants me to chase him. But until that point, he'll just dry himself off. Get your other side, too. There you go. He might be a little neurotic, actually. I don't know how many dogs that act like this. Make sure you get your face. Shortly after drying him off, Dolce turns neurotic. Completely neurotic. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Completely neurotic. <laughs> and if nothing else, this is an amazing workout. <gasps> I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. He really gets crazy. I don't know if the water, like, makes <laughs> him insane, but he goes crazy, as you can tell. Where are you going? <laughs> so, yes, I have a crazy neurotic dog, but I love him. How can you not? What you doing? Hey. Hey, Skip Toy, what you doing? Touch it. You're not dry yet, huh? Oh, yeah, that's it. Let's rub all over Mom's couch. Really? Really? The towel is right there. Hey. You need to use the towel. Do you want to go to the main society? Huh? Do you want me to take you there? I'll trade you in for a cat. The end. My day is over. I'm now uh, obviously masking. I have a great glass of wine. I've got my favorite little man. And I'm going to watch some TiVo. So I hope you liked a day in my life, and I'll see you guys soon.